Well, good way of recognizing the one that we're looking at, or in general, any uh, sort of hornbill, is the bill. So you see it's quite bright and yellow, so this is a yellow-billed hornbill. What are you doing? Well, we, when we arrived, so there's actually two sitting on this tree and you may wonder why they're sitting on a dead tree and they're doing everything that they're doing. So you see one at the top, one at the bottom. I think the bottom one might be the female because the beak is slightly smaller. And they're just pretty much waking up, getting their morning routine started. So they were making their, their call a few m moments ago. You know, it's quite funny because they... they put their wings up and it's almost like they're about to fly but they don't really and then once they were done with that then it's the morning bath pretty much so that you can see just how thorough they are in cleaning all their little feathers making sure everything is in place and looking quite clean and healthy and if they find any little mites or ticks or oh thank you well, that's a pretty wing can you do it again no okay I really love the little black and white spots around their wings. I think they're so stunning. Maybe they look almost like something from a fashion show. I mean, look at that. Incredible nature's design, isn't it? There we go. Um, we're just going to try and wipe the lens quickly. There's a lot of moisture out in the out and about today. Ah, look at that. So much better. It's almost like the camera woke up too. <laughs> Are you, do you have lots of little things around there? You see, sometimes the hornbills, they come down, or a lot of the birds do it. They will come down and they will start dust bathing as to try and help them get rid of all those little uh, parasites, really, really small parasites that live in their bodies that make them itchy. So I think this is what they're trying to do, just try and get them all out. <laughs> He doesn't seem particularly happy to have them around. He looks quite grumpy that they're biting him or that things are not in the correct place. <laughs> Here's some hornbills calling in the distance, so I wonder if that's going to make this particular one start calling. So I really love the call that they make, and they look so funny, and sometimes it's almost like they sound like like a zebra if you hear them from from quite a distance i know this sounds very unreal that you'll be able to confuse a hornbill's call with the one of the zebra but you do especially when they start making certain funny noises i know it happened to many rangers that i know 